Louis, a different surrounding tonight, of course, travelling down to, to Maidstone tonight at the, the hotel. Obviously, another a long trip for you. So first things first, just how's the, the journey been today? The uh, journey has been good. Um, set off uh, early, um, just with the, the mindset of trying to get down as, as early as possible. So the, so the boys have got plenty of rest time and recover. And um, we uh, stopped just over the Dorford Crossing, had a little bit of a, a loosener, um, kind of got a stretch on. Helped to break up the journey a little bit, but then we got down here in really good time and uh, quite a lot of the boys have kind of been able to continue their pre-match routines, whether that's uh, really chilling out or whether that's going to the gym, doing a bit of stretching um, or doing any sort of um, uh, prehab stuff. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're in a good place. We're in kind of well-versed in these longer journeys over the last six weeks. Um, so, yeah, all good. And you mentioned there stopping not quite the the entire way down but not too far off um for you know just let the lads have a bit of a runabout so they're not just sat on the bus all day and and stiffening up a bit i suppose but obviously you've had some long away games where you've had sort of training sessions halfway down other times where you've you haven't trained so much has it just been a bit this season with obviously all the longer trips a case of kind of finding out what works best for the lads because everyone really is different i suppose yeah it's just a combination really of uh, what's fine, what what the lads are enjoying um and obviously the travel as well in terms of the last thing that we want to do is kind of get towards a London area then be caught in loads of traffic so whenever we can we'll we train halfway down uh, that kind of bit is the the gold standard sort of approach for us um but uh basically this this group will will always find a way so whether it's halfway down whether it's a, a bit of a light session like today which is a bit further down just before the hotel um or if it's just getting to the hotel having a walk having a stretch doing stuff more own time uh, ultimately we'll always have a, a real professional approach to it and try and do whichever whichever way um is set out for we'll do is the best we can um and today it's been really good in terms of got some really early travel in we're being able to loosen off on the pitch, obviously start to embed some of our key messages ready for our game plan tomorrow, start to kind of get that mental approach ready. Um, and obviously we've prepared the boys today, or tonight shall I say, with a, an, an opposition analysis, which will be followed with a little bit more information before we head to the stadium. But the boys will be well prepared. Yeah, and for tomorrow, obviously, you picked up a bit of momentum in midweek with a, a win against Oldham, but back on the roads this weekend where, I mean, results have been good away from home for, for quite a while now, really. Obviously going to Maidstone, a team that have been down there for quite a long period this season, but I suppose when you are down there, it can maybe have the effect that you've kind of got nothing to lose in a sense. So not an easy opposition by any means, even if some people might look at the table and think, oh, they're, they're 10 points adrift, so they should be winning and things like that. Yeah, um, they won't be underestimated whatsoever. Uh, it's a combination of obviously respecting them. We, we've done our analysis and we've showed the boys where where their key threats are tonight, um, and they've got some they've got some really good players. Ultimately, if you give them time, um, if you give them the opportunity to try and hurt you, they've they've got quality to to follow that through. Um, some of the footage that we've seen, the the goals that they've conceded over the last three or four uh, games have been a combination of. Brilliance from the opposition, individual uh, real quality, and then a few uh, kind of defensive uh, misfortunate errors. Really, so on the clips, they haven't really been opened up by a team, um, which we've used to get the message across. Which is, this is not an easy game whatsoever. This is this is the toughest game. This is the biggest game of the season, because. Uh, our situation and that's what we try and focus on the much the most which is we need to continue this momentum we need to be trying to pick up as many wins as we can uh, and we're a good good um vein of form at the moment and we've got to use that as, as much as we can um, and like you've said there you know we want to continue our our good form on the road because um we've been able to really uh pick up some momentum pick up some good points and ultimately attack our opponents with with no fear um away from home yeah, and in terms of availability tomorrow, I mean, injury-wise, I think it's pretty much the same as it, it has been recently. Obviously, there were a positive with Carl Magnier coming back into the fold, potentially after his suspension's been served now. So, I suppose, slightly better than Tuesday, really, in terms of the squad. For sure, yeah. Um, we've 
been lucky enough to not uh, have any kind of injury concerns since Tuesday, and we've we've gained Ma Mag back into the picture. Um, <laughs> really good because ultimately, uh, Carl is like a real driver for us in terms of our standards, our identity, um, and he did a fantastic job when he wasn't in the squad uh, over the last three games of suspensions. But I know he's chomping at the bit to be back involved, so he's up for selection. So that's the only real the real change. But it's obviously a positive change in the fact that uh, we're actually gaining gaining a player and obviously someone like Mags that really drives everything for us uh, is just going to be a bonus.